up YouTube? It's K Dub 250 here. Back in Texas, it is beautiful compared to the uh, ride home from the C2W meet. That was some nasty ass weather. I actually had to stop and get a hotel. I was being a little bitch, but it was cold and now it's wet and there's tornadoes and lightning and hail and yeah, no, that ain't for me. But yeah, I'm on my way down to the uh, DPS office. I'm gonna go see what I need to do about getting my uh, license plate back since uh, I lost it on the trip. And uh, see what I need to do here. But uh, yeah, I do actually have something I wanted to talk about today. And that is, uh, it, it's unbelievable. Uh, I never even imagined it would be like this. But this community, the whole mode of vlogging community, and the fans, and subscribers, and the vloggers in general, it is amazing the amount of respect and and uh, hospitality that all of these all of these people have. I, I never imagined that what I experienced this last weekend was even real. So it amazes me that uh, that a community a community can be like that. It's so fucking awesome. I, I really, I can't even put it into words. Like, I've never experienced anything else like it. You ha we had, I don't know what the count for bikes was. I heard 300, and then I heard somewhere in the 200s, which was really good considering the weather. I know there was supposed to be about 600 people uh, coming out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but the meet went really well. I think we only had two accidents, uh, CBR 250 and a uh, R6, I believe. Which for that amount of bikes, was <laughs> that was okay. Uh, I mean, it's not okay if I have any accidents, but that many bikes in such tight spaces going down roads that nobody's really familiar with, um, I think we made it out pretty damn good and it was a successful meetup. Uh, the day after the meet, uh, I, or the day, the night of, uh, at the hotel, I was hanging out with uh, Chase Jasper Down and Moto Twitch, Boyd Irk, uh, Everyday Rider. We had a bunch of people there, um, but we decided we were going to go hit Blood Mountain the next uh, morning. And that was another experience in itself. I wish I had some footage, but I had already filled up my GoPro and didn't bring anything to transfer my files from because I had all the footage from the meetup. So I didn't get to record any footage from the mountain. I really wish I did because that was insane as well. Uh, which is part of the reason why I have uh, now changed my uh, YouTube name to KDub250. Since I am on a 250, and I always call it a 250. I don't know why. It makes it look cooler, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I changed my name from KDub250, or from KDub Moto Vlogs to KDub250. I was really looking for a name, you know, not just something Moto Vlogs. And the thing I came up with the most was the 250 because I got so much respect being on a 250 that I did not expect to receive because it is a 250, you know? 250s get shit on so much. And uh, yeah, this thing was a beast. I was right up on those big bikes asses. I actually was passing. I passed uh, Twitch, and I believe he's on the R1, so leader bike. <laughs> this thing was a beast in the mountains. Don't you do it. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, uh, since I'm doing all my filming and my YouTube stuff on the 250, 
I figured it only makes sense to uh, go ahead and use the 250 in my name. And plus, I think it's kind of cool, actually. And that's just me. Everybody's going to have their own opinion about it, but that's just me. Uh, yeah, but really cool, guys. I cannot wait for the next meetup. They'll be able to hang out with all these guys again. Best experience I have had in a long, long time. You know, we shared stories and looked at each other's bikes and fucked with each other. It was it was a really good experience. Oh, yeah. I was actually I did not want to go home, <laughs> knowing that we don't have anything else like that down here. But uh, I was surprised. I got home and I have like I looked at YouTube for the first time the whole weekend and I saw I had like 230 page views and when I left I only had like 50. I thought that was a uh, Pretty fucking awesome. Woo. That was fun. I ain't hit it hard in a while. I'm riding with that group. I just kind of hit it as hard as I needed to be able to keep up. Which, surprisingly, with those 600s and thousands, I was keeping up really well. What is this guy doing? Alright. I was keeping up really well. Um, I got compliments on my bike so often because of that alone that I was able to keep up on accelerations, you know. Uh, you know, this is the fastest 250 some of them have ever seen. Cause I, I got it up to 115 while I was out there uh, going down the street. And uh, <laughs> I went flying by uh, since I, was, I wanted to see what I could get get some of it on their footage, you know. So I just nailed it. Went flying by them and we, we were going to eat at uh, Chili's. When we got there, like, dude, how fast were you going? Because I hit 120 and I, was, I just crawled past you. I'm like, yeah, I was topped out 115. They're like, dude, that's the fastest 250 I've ever seen. I thought 250s couldn't get over 90. I'm like, no, mine, mine can do it. <laughs> uh, Bike held up really well for the trip. Amazing, actually. I never really found anything wrong with it uh, throughout the whole thing. I took some chain lube with me, so I had chain lube on me at all times. Uh, so every 500-ish miles, I was uh, throwing that on there. Uh, yeah, I wish uh, Baker X Derek and. Uh, Six foot could have made it out. That would have been badass. But I did get I, I, I did get to meet. I hung out a little bit with uh, do it with Dan. I got some. Uh, me and him actually parked our bikes right next to each other after we did the meetup and we met up at the uh, or we rode out to the the uh, mountain motorsports. We actually ended up parking our bikes right next to each other. So I got some pretty good shots. He left his helmet after he, they moved all the big vloggers bikes to the center, you know, so they could get pictures with all their, all the big name vloggers, you know. Uh, he didn't want to move his stuff, so he's left, he left his helmet and shit right at my bike. <laughs> and me and my buddy, we were like, dude, we could ditch right now, go back to the hotel, take Dan's helmet, which is his, it's his logo, and have him freak out a little bit, and send it back to him in fan mail. We ended up not doing that. We figured uh, we'd probably get shit on for that. Or they just see it and fucking chase us down. I thought it would be a pretty good joke though. But I didn't, you know, in that meantime, you know, how much money would that have cost him? Would he have went and bought another helmet? Does he have another helmet? I have no idea. But yeah, that that would have been a, a pretty badass prank if I knew all the possible outcomes for it and actually did it. But uh, yeah, I met Dan, C2 Dub, Yummy, Yummy. I, I didn't see his face reveal. So uh, 
when I saw him in person, it was kind of shocking. I did not expect w what I saw. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen his face reveal, you need to go check it out. I believe it's on his set, uh, yummy, yummy vlogs. She was not gonna stop. But yeah, it's on his uh, yummy vlogs. It's his second channel. <clears throat> I'm gonna blow right through that stop sign. Yep. Uh, go check that out. What do we got over there? Some type of bike. Um, yeah, yummy Jake was fucking hilarious. I met Jake Moto. Uh, I am Ramekin. Awesome dude. Put pretty much. He seemed like he was the one that put everything together for these guys. the fuck is all over the road here? Oh shit, that don't look good. So yeah, meetup was a success. Uh, I've never been to anything like that and it was amazing. I cannot wait for the next one. But uh, that's all for now, guys. I'll catch y'all later. 250 out.